Are the Vikings looking to the draft for the Kirk Cousins succession plan? So taking a quarterback with the intent on developing him for when the time eventually comes for the Vikings and Kirk Cousins to part ways. Lots of speculation here with this. I saw a report earlier today that the Vikings met virtually with Northwestern quarterback Peyton Ramsey. I've got questions. I, I'm, I'm skeptical, and I feel like there are onion layers to peel off here. My first question is, are the Vikings truly, assuming that they actually go through with it, assuming that they do draft the quarterback, are they actually going to develop this guy? Because I tell you what, you look at the last two years, rookie quarterbacks that they brought in, 2020, they drafted Nate Stanley out of Iowa in the seventh round. And then 2019, Jake Browning wasn't drafted. They signed him as an undrafted free agent. But in both cases, oh, could be a nice project piece for the future. Could be interesting. And in both cases, 2019, Jake Browning cut, signed to the practice squad. 2020, Nate Stanley cut, also signed to the practice squad. So is this another situation of a merry-go-round and around and around we go? This guy, we take him, oh, a lot of hype just to end up on the practice squad. Or are we actually going to develop him? And if we are actually going to develop this guy, my second question is, what does Mike Zimmer, in fact, you can actually take Mike Zimmer's name out of this. What does a defensive head coach who goes through offensive coordinators like clockwork, what does a defensive head coach have to offer in terms of nurturing a young quarterback? In those situations, you're actually better off moving on. If you have to move on from your veteran quarterback, you're actually better off moving on from one veteran quarterback to the next. Ryan Fitzpatrick, for example, even though probably safe to say when the Vikings and Kirk Cousins eventually part ways, Ryan Fitzpatrick probably won't be in the league by then. Wouldn't be surprised. But for a young quarterback to be successful, in my humble opinion, you need either an offensive-minded head coach or – a consistent offensive coordinator slash quarterbacks coach, one or the other. Clint Kubiak, I think he's going to do a fine job as OC in the 2021 season. Let's say he gets picked up as a head coach somewhere else. We go from one OC to the next in 2022. Imagine at your job, you go through a new supervisor every single year with new practices, with new mentoring, with new ideas. Every single year, we'll just go to the head boss of the whole company. Okay, you work in, let's say, IT. The head boss comes from sales. It's not going to work. And my last question is, does Rick Spielman slash Mike Zimmer, do they have assurances from the Wolf Brothers on long-term job security to where they have the luxury of time to say, okay, we'll take a quarterback this upcoming draft? Because if it's hey, get your shit together in 2021 or you're done, then I would imagine that spending your time, energy, and resources on the quarterback position would just be counterproductive, especially if you're going to bring back Sean Mannion as the QB2. Or, my God, I've seen speculation on this. Oh, should the Vikings go after Teddy Bridgewater? Man, I hope this dude gets traded to somewhere else or if he gets cut from the Panthers, signed somewhere else, just so we can stop having this conversation. But even going back to the draft, and I get it, Nate Stanley, seventh round pick, Jake Browning, undrafted free agent. Even if they were to say, let's say if Trey Lance was available at 14, Trey Lance is, I don't think Trey Lance is a day one starter. This dude needs nurturing. I think he has a ton of upside, has a high, high ceiling, but his floor, at least right now, is not that great. He needs to really, really develop. How is he going to develop under Mike Zimmer? That's a genuine, genuine question. I, I'm curious to see how this all plays out this upcoming draft. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Next podcast will be on Wednesday. We'll see you then.